Hi guys, Angelic here again. Uh, bring you another deck, uh, which is called Brilliant Valkyrie, which I just named it. So let's take a look. So Brilliant came from Brilliant Fairy, and Valkyrie came from Shining Valkyrie. Okay, let's talk about the workhorse. Okay. So, this whole deck revolves between the uh, Brilliant Fairy and Shining Valkyrie. So, let's look at Brilliant Fairy. So, Brilliant Fairy. Fanfare. So, uh, you will give plus one attack and plus one health to an another allied followers. As well as if you play two or more cards in this turn, you will give all allies. I mean, all the allies fairies plus one attack and rush. And if you play four, you will get uh for all the fairies you will get plus two, and then storm. Please do take note, right, that it only works with this fairy. It doesn't work with any other cards that has fairy words in it. Just this fairy cards. Okay, so for this card, what you wanna do is you want to have a uh, uh to like you need to have four fairies it's not really a need to but you want to have a four fairies in your hand where you can play together with these brilliant fairies so uh before i thought that i need to be like a like on a turn nine where i can have nine points to play you know like four fairies that's one point each and then um and then this brilliant fairy however right through testing and understanding forest craft that actually you don't need it you can have a bunch of uh, zero cost fairies coming from other cards uh, we'll be talking about that now so the zero cost fairy can come from uh let's talk about Never mind, let's go with Elven Princess Mage. So you can have this card and then you evolve it and then you have two fairies and change it to the cost of zero. So like you all know, to receive this kind of um, fairies, right? For every time you receive a fairy, if you want to double it, you can. You just got to use this flower fox that doubles the fairies into your hand. Okay. So if you have this flower fox and this elven princess mage, you will have four fairies that is zero cost. I guess it's, it's not going to show, but yeah, it's zero cost. Or you can also use this shiny Valkyrie that adds a uh, minimum one fairies to your hand that is zero cost, or up to three fairies into your hand. So depending on how you want to play it. So what you want to do right is um for Shiny Valkyrie you want all your fairies to be on the board. Like you want to have four fairies on the board. Whereas your brilliant fairy you want four on your hand. However, right, for real case scenario. People will be attacking you. So if people are attacking you, right? Uh, because if enemy deals 5 damage to your leader, you will get 3 fairies which is 0 cost. So in this case, uh, what you can do is um, you can have 4... Um, you can have... I mean, up to you, you can just summon all your fairies onto the board like all four then you just put this in and then you evolve it you will get storm oh yeah please take note right so if you don't evolve it it's rush if you evolve it it's storm and the so-called strike effect that gains plus x x equal to the number of allies fairy in play that will not be expired like it's not about the next turn or the next next turn or whatsoever, but it stays throughout as long as this card, Shiny Valkyrie, is in play. So you can add like twice. 
So like the first time, let's say you have 4 fairies in the board So you plus 4 attack Afterwards, if, you're still, if your shiny Valkyrie is still there And there is still 4 more fairies on the board You'll still add another 4 more damage when you attack So what I like to do, if, if I don't want to evolve this Like if I want to keep it I can do that, and then uh, I can just use this um, shiny Valkyrie to like you know hit those um, lower attack flowers, like bats, um, even other fairies, so that I can have the initial buff. So you know, so that if let's say that Valkyrie is not dead, um, the next turn, you will deal a very hefty damage to the enemy. Since it add the buff every single time this Valkyrie attacks. Mm. Now let's talk about defensive defending uh things cut this um dance of death to remove the cards and deal that crucial two damage. And your this um Sylvan Justice that adds fairies to your hand and also dueling dealing 2 damage to the followers and you're this um, elf chow mei that deals 1 damage to random enemy which is very useful so normally at the start of my hand I'm looking for forest fox to be in my hand uh, I mean the starting hand and this water fairy as well and my Fairy Whisperer So if the case that uh, Like you know that that um, Enemy deck right Has like a low cost like a one cost removal card Then you want to use Water Fairies So the decks are like you know Dragon Craft with their Dragon Breath Yeah that, those are like one cost removal cards Then you should use this Water Fairies instead like you know at the start If let's say you're fighting like a heaven craft That has like a 2 cost and above uh, removal cards Then you can safely play this flower fox at the first turn Then afterwards use this fairy whisperer So you can only play this I mean you should only play this flower fox if You are the first player like the first turn you know, first player to start Because if not, then any card will just remove this flower fox Since the next turn is 2, two cost So let's talk about this uh, nature guidance So in case you don't know, it just returns one of your followers or amulet to your hand I mean, uh, your own one, your own allies followers or amulet so what I personally like to use this for is this um, Elf Chow Mei Fairy Whisperer or some clutch moment for this Rhino although it's very rarely I'm mainly using this Rhino for uh, easy remover of other cards although you can have it as an alternate winning condition if you choose to and then this elf girl Lisa is for you to protect your fairies on the board Since uh, Valkyrie, Shining Valkyrie likes to have more fairies on the board to have more buff Then uh, you also have this uh, Wazing fairies which is also just to add the fairies So yeah, so personally, I like to use this nature guidance on either the Elf Chow Mei, Fairy Whisperer, or Wazing Fairies. Not much on this Elven Princess Mage because, I mean, you already evolved to get the mage, so why would you, you know, sort of like de evolve it? Right? Then, uh,. Yeah, if let's say you need that extra 1 damage to, um, to your Valkyrie to deal that 
damage, I mean to do a dealing blow, you can just use this, this brilliant fairy here. Since the uh, default fanfare is to add one attack and defense to the and another followers. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, and this shiny Valkyrie is really, really powerful. And if you really want, you can also combo it with this. Since you're gonna reduce damage from effects. To somehow, you know, to somehow defend your this Shining Valkyrie. So, uh, I guess... Now let's talk about how to get the cards. So for Shining Valkyries, uh, it only can be gotten from your um, mythical pass, uh, mythical battle pass, which is on the online online platform. Then uh, you just have to keep playing, uh, farming up the levels of the battle pass. And then, as for Brilliant Fairy, you have to get it from uh, Memory. Get one, and then uh, you just have to copy it from your uh, Underverse. So, copying this one card costs um, 8,000. And you only can copy this card and not the Shining Valkyrie because you can't copy Mythical cards or or your Shadow Bahamut. So let's check out this uh, battle pass that I talked about. So you have to have online, uh, Nintendo Online, and you must pay for the battle pass to get it. So yeah, so apparently there's five battle pass. So what you want to get is this mythical cards battle pass here. So like I'm still fine farming for my rest of the cards, but I'm thirty four now out of forty. So let's go. So a good thing about this uh shiny Valkyrie is that it is the very first uh mythical cards that you get, like. In terms of the uh, the routine, you know. So like I can see, so you get it on the level four, as well as your level. Tr um, sorry, and your level twelve, and um, and your level twenty seven. So it's level four. 12 and 27 where you get all your uh, shiny Valkyries Let's see, did I miss out anything? Oh, uh, and I just want to clarify that the reason why I don't put deck codes in videos is that uh, You can only have a maximum of 20 deck codes That you can share out like you can have the 20 deck code to upload into the game but I definitely going to make more than 20 decks so so I just like you know at the start I just don't put any deck codes out right so so let's talk about alternative cards so um this rhino right if you really don't like to put it in you can replace it with this um uh, let me see, what is it called again? Yeah, you can replace it with this Elf Mac Metalogis to do that extra, uh, that a bit more of removals that you might have or uh, might want. But I personally will prefer the Rhino since I can have options to deal damage to the leader or the followers. Yeah, that's it guys. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then uh, please join my Discord. You might, you know, uh, 
know even more uh, people that is more interested into your own craft and then you can discuss and make a battle deck or maybe you can try to find someone to play against or test deck for you I mean not for you but with you through lobby match yeah that's it guys thanks for watching and see you guys next time